In this video, I'll teach you how to restart quilting. There are two places where you'll want to restart your quilting. One is after a thread break, which is what has happened here. I'll say OK. And it asks me, do I want to resume or edit? I say resume because I want to resume quilting that pattern. Now before I do this, I've already gone to the quilt physically, pulled up the bobbin, trimmed off any snaggly thread, made sure that my restart is nice and clean and where I want it to be. Now I'll say resume and I need to say move. So it will move in the, the pattern to the point closest to the needle rather than continue from when the machine stopped moving, where the machine thought that the thread break was, is actually a few stitches beyond where the thread break actually was. And then I want to restart back in the pattern about four or five stitches so that I have a little bit of double stitching there so it's secure. So move is the best option and I click move. You can see here, that's where it is on the pattern and it will start stitching at that point. Now I'm going to press stop. Sometimes it's necessary to edit your pattern. And one of the reasons might be I forgot to trim this pattern over on the right side and it might go beyond the edge more than I wanted or maybe I need to alter the pattern in some other way, I would say edit. That will bring me back to the edit screen. I can do whatever it is I need to do. Maybe I wanted to group it, maybe I wanted to trim it. I'd use whichever tool I planned to use. So I wanna restart in the middle of the pattern, not at the beginning of the pattern, and I wanna make sure that happens correctly. So I'm going to say go. So I'm going to say yes. And it's going to transfer the pattern And at this point, after it's transferred the pattern, it will ask you continue or stop. I'm going to choose stop. And now it will ask me this question. Do you wish to resume sewing the current pattern or go back to the edit mode? If I say resume at this point, it will now give me that move question, which like before, I want to have my needle located at the point in the pattern where I want it to start. Now I want to show you one more thing. If you, you can uh, click this and move it out of the way and you can zoom in on where you are. Now this you can see the red line is going to tell you which direction the pattern is going to be going. So if you zoom in on this on this point right here, it's a good one to show you. It double stitches along that line. So it could be headed going to the right. If I'm here or here, and it could be going to the left if I going that way. So so that you know that the pattern is headed in the right direction, it's good to zoom in on this and check on that little red line. That way you'll never head off uh, in an unwanted direction on the pattern. Once you have that in the right place, you would say move. And it will start stitching at that point closest to the pattern, going the direction that I have indicated.